kind of going crazy. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, it's a lot of drawings that I have to make. Those are so many. I'm tired. I took my iPad in the shower. I don't even know how I'm still going. I decided to do digital art every day for a month straight and I'm an oil painter with creative burnout and I know nothing about procreate but I've had my iPad for like three or four years and I still have not made like an actual digital piece and I'm terrible at it wish me luck let's get into it Inktober is a really big deal for a lot of different artists. I've actually done it a couple times. Some ink drawings, even did keychains one time. And then last year I did 31 oil paintings. Still don't know how I did that, but here's some of them. It helps artists with art block, provides community on social media, and some unique artworks for your feed. However, it can be really stressful, especially if you're an artist like me, with anxiety and a harsh inner critic. Did I mention I'm just an oil painter and I'm trying to do 31 digital pieces in a month? And I'm burnt out. Did I mention that? Anyway, here are my rules. One, I'm using the Peachtober art prompts again this year. Two, I'm choosing digital art as my medium because I've never really gotten good at it before, so I just want to practice. Three, I'm making all the pieces octopus themed and in all different styles. I just thought it would be a fun little thing, and if you can't tell by my room, the octopus is my favorite animal. And four, remember to have fun and not spiral into another burnout and put too much pressure on myself, which I tend to do. The point of this is to just have fun and practice a new medium, right? <laughs> so join me to endure a full 31 days of Peachtober 2023. time no talk honestly today is september 25th yeah i'm stressed i don't know what i'm doing in any aspect regarding the content regarding what i'm doing to myself because i'm literally creatively burnt out so why am i giving myself more work i shouldn't throw myself into more work if i'm burnt out but why do i kind of like the feeling <laughs> like, not the toxic stress or anything but just like finally having passion for something and like drive and that fire that's burning inside of me <sighs> we're just gonna throw myself into it and see what happens i've already drawn the first word which is b right now i'm just looking at videos for inspiration on how to draw digitally because i don't even know my own style digitally being a painter and then trying to do digital art is just so different and weird this is just an update i'm stressed but i'm curious you know who knows if this will ruin me even more than I am already ruined. It is now September 30th, the last day of September, and I'm stressed. <laughs> Like I have one and a half drawings done, basically. Almost half of the sketches done. I'm really excited just because I like how the sketches are coming out. And then the second drawing is just like becoming fun even though I don't know what I'm doing. I think that means I'm having a good time. For half of them, I don't have- I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't have like a thumbnail done of it at all. So. <laughs> Just a lot of prompts, okay? It's a lot of drawings that I have to make. But I like that I don't have to like mess around with paint, even though I love to paint. It's just that, you know, I can sit in my bed and watch a movie and draw. Hey, 
right day four this is probably one of my favorite ones the word was grub and at first i thought of doing like an octopus eating something but then i thought grub like the worm that you use for fishing and i'm like octopus under the sea you know fish yeah the original sketch of it did not like it at all i started drawing it i decided just to have fun with it when i first got my ipad i used to do drawings like random sketches like this where it looks like colored pencil that's basically where the style of this piece came from and for day five i tested out a color scheme that i don't usually go for the word was sprig i just wanted to chill out get some inspiration from pinterest and like just do something nothing like that i had to think too much for i just thought of putting like a sprig leaf on top of octopus and that's it that's so cool. I don't know how to describe it. Like, see, like, like Steven Universe type stuff, you know, like, where, like, they're doing, like, oh, yeah. concept. I can't even ima never imagine, like, in a million years doing this. No, like, seriously, I could spend, like, my entire life trying to trying to do something like this, and it would never look this good. I think you could, Taylor. No. I know you're a perfectionist, but... No, I could never. Like, good, that is. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's like a children's book, isn't it? Day six was I, by this point, I don't know how I didn't give up. I rushed this one in like 20 minutes. The sketch is cute, the idea was cute, but the way I executed it is not cute. It had potential, okay? I just don't really like it that much compared to previous ones. Like I really like the sprig one. I really like the um, sweet one. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this one, honestly. But like the things that I have done. What? Then I don't feel that Why way. Why he says he's I'm doing it. Is she perfect or something? Well, he's not saying anything like So today we are working on number seven, which is tomorrow's day. Right, Slim? <laughs> and the word is crater. October 7th. I'm on time, but not ahead. And I'm gonna try to finish the sketches. I can feel myself not really liking the most recent ones, like six and seven. I don't think I'm pushing my limits enough, but still have a lot of days to go, so there's time. dream i was unsure of what to do because the word snooze is also on the list so i obviously wanted to draw an octopus sleeping for at least one of them as i was drawing this one i didn't really like it that much but looking back on it now i think it's pretty good <laughs> i kept the process pretty much the same like keeping it kind of messy and like that painterly style that i do when i paint for blue this is probably where things started to shift for me as far as the process and enjoying myself because i use a different brush and it kind of gave me this very painter like effect and i actually did a background for this one which was really fun this is probably one of my favorite ones if not my favorite one and look he just looks so sad and cute this is me as an octopus literally I've gotten to number 19 on the sketches. It does make things a lot easier, but I'm still like, how is there so many <laughs> left? Like, I feel like I've done 30 already. Oh, not to mention the fact that I didn't even start editing this video yet. <sighs> I want to be a content creator so bad, but at the same time, it's almost like I don't want to because it's just too much. I just want to make art. I don't want to have to record it, but at the same time, I love making videos. Now that I have like a graduation cap commission to do, a uh, painting to do, editing a video to do, and the Peachtober pieces, and living my life, having time to relax, like how do people balance it all? I just can see how my brain doesn't know what to do or what to think about. Like I don't make time to just stop, do what's in the moment. I don't even know if this makes sense because you're not in my brain. 
mini update. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. I did this for like some paintbrush promo a couple months ago. She likes to decorate the house. So for spring, she decorated this. But then she asked me to do the other side and do fall flowers because it's fall time. Company reached out to me to use their markers so i did this today i made a uh, homemade stickers and did this and then at the same time i started this which is a graduation cap commission so while this was drying i was going back and forth from this i didn't finish completely i really wanted to tonight but yeah i'm kind of going crazy i don't know if you can tell i just think too much for my own good sometimes i need to just be and that's why yoga helps me i think because it's like in my nature to be aware I didn't clean the brush <laughs> yeah it's in my nature to be aware so I think I've always been meant to like do yoga and mindfulness practice practice in general the real tea is come closer if you're a girl or you know if you have a period you know what I'm talking about I was fine after I graduated because you know I just come out of school I was like okay, I deserve a break a year later I get off birth control I'm birth control for like four years I needed like seven eight months to readjust to my natural hormonal tendencies. I was off balance, my hair was falling out for months. I recovering from the pill, the extra hormones that were flowing through my body. And now I'm just exhausted. Not to mention the exhaustion, okay? The low energy of it all. Like, please. Like, when my period comes, my whole routines and everything go out the window. I'm trying to sync to my cycle and, like, figure out how to keep going as a woman. But, like, dang. I'm tired. Being an artist is hard enough, but being a woman and an artist and a content creator, like, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me that's just the real i'm just really battling with anxiety the pressure like that i put on myself is like why it's like i'm not myself <sighs> i'm gonna hate editing this video but Yeah, like I said before, my mom's birthday is October 10th. Every year that I do Inktober, I dedicate the 10th drawing or painting, whatever it is, to her. Usually it's something to decorate the house with because she's really into decorating the house for the seasons. I wanted to do the painting and also Inktober because I'm insane. <laughs> It was just because she had been asking for that painting for a while, so I just thought it would be nice, but it was a lot of work. The word was citrus, so I thought of lemons, because she always decorates the house with lemons for springtime. So it just was perfect. And here's an example of me messing around with textures. Started a new layer, I picked out this texture brush. On the whole layer, I filled it in with that brush. I just played around with the layer effects. Usually it was overlay or multiply, and it created like this canvas looking effect, or just like this texture. The process of this one is similar to the uh, dream one where like I didn't really like it at first. You know, going through the ugly phase of art that every painting, every drawing goes through and eventually it turned out pretty good. and fix myself like every day when I'm changing my mindset every day before I even know it. I'm constantly improving. It's like I know this but it's just hard to remind myself and I think that comes with gratitude practice. I'm so much better than I was. That's the uh, most important thing I feel like. More important than every day I have to do something better. Like it's not like that. It's like it happens over time. I think it's important to point out as a reminder, like, chill. I've been putting so much thought into things when it doesn't have to be like that. I know that's like a common theme with me of just like thinking too much. I just want to go back to when no one cared about reels and I'm gonna do that on my own. I don't care if everyone is like just involved with social media too much. Like, I'm gonna do what I want to do, which is go back in time and just post for the sake of posting and 
to make art for the sake of making art. That's it. When I'm on social media every day, it's like, what can I do to be better on social media? It's like, that's not what I want to do. I want to make videos and I want to make art. I want to make videos on my art, I want to make videos in my life. That's it. It's not about being a content creator. Like, I am one. But I'm not, not hindering my creative success and creative endeavors for content. Never. The goal is to just post whatever I want to post without caring and to make art about whatever I want to make art about. And I think that the way to do that is just practice that to remind myself like, I want to do this because it's fun, not because I want numbers. Because art is fun and making videos is fun. There's no time limit, there's no deadline, there's no expectation. I'm just living my life. So it's all right. Period. was a pretty hard sketch for me to draw but once again it looks like the same kind of style to me i tried different like fall color scheme i knew i had to do a one piece theme drawing because i've really been into one piece this year and my boyfriend's really into it i just thought it would be cool to have an octopus holding the ship i also tried to do the style of the manga which i thought was really cool and it was fun for me too to just like kind of relax and do some basic line art and some color I did a color version, didn't really like it that much, but this one was really fun to do. This is tomorrow's, I already posted today's, but I'm feeling very nervous about this one just because it has an actual background. I'm just kind of nervous, but I'm just gonna have fun with it. I think it might take longer than normal. almost completely forgot about this one i loved the idea for this drawing especially because the word was weather i just thought it was such a good idea to have like be more animated be like a cartoon i had the most trouble with this one i tried to implement an actual octopus species which is called the gloomy octopus and i thought it was perfect but the coloring just did not go well and i just had to eventually just kind of give up on it i mean it's still pretty cool to me but it just gave me a lot of trouble the next one also gave me trouble i was just like I think I'm thinking too hard. I'm just gonna draw something to post. Like, I don't know. I tried to do what I had been doing for the past few drawings, but it just wasn't working out. I don't know. So then this led me to believe that I just needed to do a throwaway drawing. And I'm so glad I did this. something terrible happened i took my ipad in the shower because i like to watch tv but there's like the one time it fell while i was showering and then it fell out of its case fell into the water it still worked and everything so i didn't really check the port to figure out if there's water there which i should have done i don't know why i wasn't thinking it just doesn't charge anymore it's the only issue so i transferred everything to my boyfriend's ipad luckily he has one all the procreate files are on here now. I'll be using his iPad. Thank you. 
today I'm not gonna do a drawing because today's word is bold. I'm doing octopuses for every single one of them. I kind of already made a painting with an octopus and a light bulb. I could make a whole new design like with a flower bulb or something, but I just need a free day, okay? I'm just gonna post my old painting and the stickers that I made for it and just put a sale on it for today. Because I'm not drawing, I'm gonna spend the day editing because I have not even really started this video. We're outside and we're breathing fresh air, so that's good enough. I finished today's, which was slingshot and then i started feeling anxious about other people's artwork for peachtober and if i did the designs good enough and if i can make them into stickers good enough and like am i doing the right thing basically i decided to get over it because it can't win with that mindset can't win thinking that people are doing better than me because it doesn't matter i was working on tomorrow because i kind of just want to be done with it and i almost gave up okay I don't even know how I'm still going, honestly. I almost gave up because I started with the color like I usually have been doing because I'm like kind of scared of line art. I can never like make line art work with color. I can always just do the line art really well. I started with color and it was terrible. And then I started over kind of and like just went over it with an outline. And I just feel so much better about how this is. I'm like, I'm just like not putting as much pressure on myself. Like, it doesn't have to make sense because it's literally my art. And I just need to finish this point. I just felt anxious earlier because it just feels like I should be painting right now. I should be painting right now. I shouldn't even be making this video. And I think I got what I wanted from this for right now. And I want to make stuff that feels intentional and not just for to finish the challenge. But we're almost done. We only have 10 days left. Why are you being a troll or are you just actually recording? I was actually recording. I was recording Slim being a bad boy and then- You be a good boy. One of these pen inking pens. Cause I, I want that style. Generic. Pen. Do you think I'm basic? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really like the eyes. the end is near. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even feel passionate about it anymore. This is the fastest artist. This is the fastest artist I know. <laughs> it's giving Shrek kind of. Doesn't it? Fiona. It's giving Piccolo. I'm over this, okay? I can't do it. Just kidding, I can't. 
I just don't want to. As the days get closer to the end, I just want to give up, man. And I just need a break. I just want to sit all day and do nothing but I can't because I'm working on October every day. I just want to like relax, like play video games and watch a show or something. But the sooner I finish this, the sooner I can do that. But I keep procrastinating because I don't feel like doing this. I don't know, girl. Why do I do this to myself every year? I know why. Oh, hi. With Pond, I finally realized that from the beginning, I probably should have tried to do some type of oil painting style because this is what I enjoyed the most out of this whole Inktober. Trying to create a painterly style digitally. So it's really unfinished. Definitely a work in progress. I might revisit it at another time. Today is the 30th, so we're almost done. This 28th and 29th, I did like more sketchy like drawings. And I think I'm just going to do that for the rest of them, even though I really wanted to do like more finished drawings. For the last ones, I'm just done for, okay? Like, I just, I'm done. But I want to do more meaningful work and not just because of the challenge. So I think I really like the sketchy drawings that I've been doing anyway, so might as well. I also decided to do that so I could have stuff to, ready to post instead of worrying about drawing this past weekend because Saturday I went to a costume party. I was just as Billy the Puppet from Saw. And then yesterday I had like a pumpkin party kind of thing. We just watched scary movies though and ate junk. Tomorrow is Halloween and I'm thinking we can just do the pumpkins tomorrow and do trick or treating. Today is all about finishing the Inktober stuff. Oh, I figured out my iPad situation too. My iPad supposedly works now, like it's charging somehow. I'm just still kind of worried about it. It might be fine, but I'm gonna try to do the drawings on there and see what happens. That's all, just a little update. Happy Halloween Eve. Well, not like, it sounds like a little disrespectful. And finally, the last day it's not the original vision i had for the drawing but this is just what came out of my hands and i also wanted to make a little tiny animation so that's what i did i think it's a good finale for all these drawings that i had to make and congrats to me for finishing because i don't know how i did it you're scary over there do you hear that screaming okay go you go first he has a child what do you do with this car? Stay with me. What if something jumps out at me? Get that pumpkin spray. I don't know. Go. <laughs> I'm running up. Go, go. Oh. Push it, push it. No, you do oh. it. No, no, no. Go on. No. Oh. oh my gosh. That was so scary. Can you do it? No, 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 please. You already did it, please. Uh, please. Look at that scary picture. <laughs> oh my God. I think must really love Halloween. Okay, press the actual oh, thing. Yeah. October 31st with the ghost octopus was absolutely amazing. What I love the most about watching you do art is that sometimes you'll like sketch things and I'm like, I'm gonna say it looks good because you know, I'm the mom and I know it looks good, but dang, when it ends up turning out to be the final, it's like even better than I thought it was gonna be. I had to like do a double take on him. He was so cute. I don't think it was that good. He was cute. I thought you would think he was scary looking. Oh no, he was cute. He was cute. He was cute. Thank you. You did great. This is cute too. Look at him. This kind of reminded me of it, sort of. So yeah, for uh, the whole month of November, I was editing this video, so I didn't really do an outro or anything. I've been really super burnt out, especially from all these drawings, but congrats to me. If you have any questions? I know I didn't really explain a lot of my process or like the idea making process, the thumbnails or anything like that. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching if you watch this because it took so long. Happy holidays and i love you guys bye do i have something like pcos or like ppd whatever it's called pdd P post pmd premenstrual drama
premenstrual disorder. PMS.